Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, remove and replace a manual window regulator in this 1996 Ford F-150. Pretty much the same for any uh, 1980 to 96 F-150, 250, or 350. Uh, we do the driver's front door, same procedure for the passenger's front door. The tools you'll need are you'll need a new regulator from 1AAuto.com, T20 torque driver, Phillips screwdriver, a door panel clip tool or a potty knife will work, hammer and punch, a drill with a 5 16 or 3 8 drill bit, some tape, and three M6, uh, M6 is the size, and they're one and a half centimeters long, um, bolts with nuts. Okay, you want to remove the window crank handle. Um, on these Fords, sometimes you can see the screw here. On this particular one, you pull this part of it out and then move it off to the side. And this one needs a T20 Torx driver. And move the mounting screw. Now you'll want to remove two Phillips screws. One right up here, one right in the door hole there. Just fast forward here as I use a Phillips screwdriver to remove those two screws. Okay, once you have those out, you'll want to take a door panel clip tool and put it right in behind here. Usually a clip right behind this reflector. And then from here, continue around and release all the clips. If you don't have one of those door panel clip tools, you can actually use a household putty knife to work as well as glue. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this part using the same T20 Torx driver that I used to remove the uh, screw for the window crank handle and you remove your speaker with uh, four screws um, and then remember obviously to unplug the speaker and then carefully pull your water shield down to um, expose the inside of the door. Okay, now there's three rivets that hold the window regulator in, one here and then two right down here. Okay, and what you'll want to do with these rivets is take a punch and you're going to want to punch the center of the rivet right out. Right in the center of that rivet. Right. Punch it out. And now you can see Okay, there's the rivet, and there's no center. And I'll do that for my other two down here. Okay, now we're going to use a 5 16 inch drill bit, and we're going to just drill out the middle of these rivets. They're soft aluminum. So you don't have to press hard on them, just run your drill and some light pressure. the rest of the bit or the rest of the rivet right off 
probably should have used, used a little bit bigger of a bit, probably a 3 8 bit would have been better. I'm just going to fast forward here as I drill out my lower two rivets. Once you get those out, hold up right here. This is what's supporting your window. Okay. Then you can bring this down and this slides out of the track in your window. Okay. So hold the window up, slide it. your regulator out, okay. push your window back up, and then I use some painter's tape just to hold the window up. And now you can reach down in, and I took mine out when the, regulator, when the regulator was in the up position. Usually what you're going to find Okay, here's the new uh, regulator from 1A Auto, and we're going to use nuts and bolts. These are basically M6 metric bolts with 10 millimeter heads and 10 millimeter nuts. And we're just going to feed the regulator down and in. Sometimes what you'll want to do is just kind of take this and just change the, I'm just putting this on and roll it up, or just kind of roll the regulator, just changes the angle a little bit. And work the regulator around and get it right in the door. Okay, now with the regulator in here, um, basically just flip it up and get hold of the arm. Okay. And then just take the arm and slide it into the end window. I'm just going to bring the regulator kind of in place over here. Just remove the heat from the window. Bring the window down, allows my regulator to kind of rotate into place. Okay, so the bolt through this hole up here. Slide it down further, I can see my holes are starting to line up down here. I'm actually going to take this and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crank the window up. 
give me the most room. Okay, take another bolt right through there. Let's see it's coming through. Uh, I'm going to fast forward here um, as I take the third bolt, uh, line it up, get it in that hole, and thread the uh, um, nut on. And then I'll use a 10 millimeter wrench as well as a 10 millimeter in socket and ratchet and tighten those bolts up to hold the regulator in place. And then I'll do a little test, make sure everything's working pro properly. Okay. Just do a quick little trial run. It's working well. Okay, you know, fast forward here as you put the um, water shield back up in place, uh, reconnect your speaker, and reattach it to the door with the four screws. Okay, now take your door handle, pull your handle, your door handle out. Okay. Get the panel on there. Push the front end here. Pull the back up and on. Make sure you get the door lock knob through. Lift up and go back. Towards the window, slide it down on, okay. and your clips should pretty much lined up. Got to kind of peek in the back here. Okay. Then put your two screws back in. Now, a little washer for your handle goes back on. Put the crank back on. T20 Torx driver. Speed it up here as I put that screw in, and then tighten it up uh, snug. You don't, have to, you don't want to make it too tight. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.